you guys, it's Anna here. What is up? Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, today I am in a different space. I'm just visiting my parents and this is my old room, which is, it's become an art room for my mom, which is beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I thought because I'm here visiting my parents, I thought it'd be fun to go thrifting and I talked about this maybe like a couple art vlogs ago that I wanted to paint on like clothing and just like accessories and that kind of stuff so I thought I'd do that for today and just do some like thrifted DIYs that you could just easily paint on um, I did go thrifting at Salvation Army thrift store just recently and uh, this video is in partnership with them so thank you so much for sponsoring today's video but yeah I, I went to the Queen location and I wanted to be really specific in like what I wanted to paint and grab so I was there for a hot minute um, but I just wanted to quickly show you like my quick little mini haul before we get on to the video so I actually picked up these pairs of shorts they look very similar to the one that I have very similar but I just thought this would be like a really great canvas um, I like that it's all just one shade of denim and it's nice and light so it'll be easy for me to just kind of um, see what where I want to paint and um, get some creative ideas so I was actually thinking maybe painting like uh, one of the back pockets kind of doing like a Monet style I have been seeing a lot of that on Pinterest and I just thought maybe I could do like my own rendition who knows we'll see because obviously when I start painting I just kind of go with the flow of it and this one I got for $3.99. The next thing that I grabbed, so this is an accessory that I thought it would be really fun to paint over on a bag. I don't really paint on like leather and I was asking you guys like some tips um, and tricks. So what I ended up grabbing was a fabric medium, which I will show you guys later. But I got this for $5.99 and it's just like this simple purse with just a, it's like a, like almost like a, a kneaded detail, um, just only at the front. So I was thinking of maybe potentially like painting the top here. And then the last thing that I just grabbed, um, I saw this really cute, guys, I need to stop with the glass jewelry stuff, but I just, I love it. I saw this heart shaped uh, glass container and I thought I could do something with this. Um, I was either thinking of painting like the sides here or like just the like on top of the heart even and just like painting like just doing my own little style of like different colors um, I will see I'll see what I feel like and I just got this for $2.99 everything was super cheap and that is pretty much what I grabbed um, and so yeah I that's my quick little thrift haul and I'm going to get painting and see what I come up with Alrighty, so this is the first painting that I'm going to be doing. I was really inspired by this Monet photo of this beautiful pond with the water lilies. And I just love the vibrant colors, the pinks and the purple tones. Um, I feel like this would be really perfect and it would look really nice at the back of um, the denim shorts that I uh, thrifted. Recently, I found this textile medium. So that is something that you would put i believe it's two parts of it two parts of the textile medium combining it with the paint and i'm using acrylic here and i'm just mixing it together and that's kind of what i used and this is actually my first time experimenting with this so i'm gonna see and test out if it works out um so far it, it worked out pretty well and it looked like it held on together as well um, so yeah, I'm just kind of fixing up the background and just trying to um, have it as close as the Monet picture. Now I'm just putting on the lily pads and I was just putting in like the shadow and putting in the, the darker colors of it first and then I'm going over with lighter colors for the lily pads. This part was a little bit hard um, and with Monet's style too, everything is um, not so 
it's not clean and precise his work is very you know like blended and mixed and um, I really like how especially when you take a step back further away you can really see everything you're not it's not necessarily um, there is still a lot of intricate detail into his work but it's one of those kind of pieces and paintings where you, you take a big step back and you like you see everything it's a lot of beautiful color as well so that's kind of um, what I'm doing right now and then I just uh, finished it off with painting the water lilies which are so so beautiful uh, I have an obsession with them <laughs> And that is how it turned out um, pretty happy with this one I feel like there could have been a little bit more work but regardless it does stand out um, as you can see me trying them on and uh, I love the colors okay so this is the second DIY I found this bag at the thrift store and I was really drawn towards like this bag and because it's all black I knew that's gonna be really easy for me to paint on so everything would kind of pop and so what I did is wipe down the bag first obviously you got to disinfect your stuff I was really inspired to paint a rose so that's what I'm doing and typically especially when you're painting on you know fabric i always try to plan it out in my head of how things would sort of look like and turn out because um also like where you position the flower is really important so i decided to do this beautiful this rose on the corner and then having like the leaves and the stem kind of come out and i really liked how it turned out And now I'm just kind of adding the final touches to the leaves and the stem. I like to add multiple colors, not just like one. Um, so I added a little bit of gold and yellow in there too. So that is how it turned out and I, I really like it. It has like its own little spunk and, you know, customization to it, which I really like. Very personal to me. Um, that is everything in today's video. I hope you guys I just spat. Oh my god <laughs> Let me see this try that again. I was really surprised at how everything turned out I actually was really nervous and honestly I was really close to giving up But then I just kept going and trusting the process and sometimes you just kind of have to trust the process and uh, lo and behold I am actually really liking what I made and Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this fun little paint with me kind of DIY thrifted video. I also did want to mention I didn't end up painting this gem because I was taking a look at it and I just feel like the paint mixed with the metal might look a little bit weird or and even painting the inside. I just kind of thought I want to leave it be. I think I might put some like q-tips or like cotton balls or something like just to, to use this as storage just because like it is super cute. I just I'm in love with this but yeah didn't end up painting that um, and I wanted to more so experiment painting with different kinds of fabrics and yeah so far it Hold, held up pretty good. The paint, I used acrylic paint by the way and it held up really well. Oh and also I forgot to mention I am doing a giveaway with them which I will leave everything in the comments down below um, and you guys can check out the description box and I will be choosing the winner next week so stay tuned. I will be announcing the winner on my IG so 
take a look out for that and if you're not following me already feel free to follow so that you guys don't miss out and i will catch you in my next video have an awesome possum day bye awesome possum